Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Skyshine's Bedlam. This is episode three, and in the last episode, we kind of got wrecked quite badly. We're in severe dire straits, and we're going to have to kind of use a little bit of extra fuel and risk severe death. But it's the only thing we can do to hopefully find something. While traveling through a canyon, and the crew here is echoing weapon fire from nearby, we're going to investigate. At the other end of the canyon, a large caravan of nomads has stopped. They are under siege by a swarm of skittering trogolopods. Hushjuled vermin of bedlam. Okay. Several of the nomads are attempting to fend them off with archaic slug throwers, but the sheer number of critters are bound to overwhelm them eventually. Alright, let's try to intervene. The crew's advanced firepower proves no match for the trogolopods, splattering them... No match? Okay, whatever. Splatter, splattering them to messy chunks in great numbers. The vermin quickly retreat, dashing away out of sight over rocks and into crevices. The apparent leader of the nomads approaches. Thank you. Please join us. Uh, fortuitous arrivals! Grats to you, travelers! We wouldn't have lasted another sun against the horde of horrids. Alright, we've footed long enough without signs of hope. Please join us. Indeed, riding in a grand machine rather than forever footing the hell hellified lands? The pleasure would be ours indeed, indeed! Yeah, that didn't really help us. Alright, whatever. We're gonna try again. <laughs> Alright, uh... As the crew explores the area, they discover a rusted metal doorway built into the side of a cliff wall. Above the doorway, a large metal cog engraved with various symbols. Try to open the door. The crew uses their fusion torches to cut the latch of the door. Pushing it aside, they find what looks like an elevator. The controls no longer appear functional. There's a shaft extended from the rear wall of the cage. Attempt to repair the controls. The crew patches, or attempts to patch the ancient circuitry, circuitry, but it is unable to get the elevator running. Ah! Oh. Alright, well, I guess we're going down here, guys. We're SOL. We can roll the dice and hope. S-O-L. S-O-L. The supply of crude has been completely drained. The dozer is a motionless hunk. Mm. Very little hope. A lone wanderer approaches. You just bark to meet him. Greetings, traveler. You have a predicament, it seems. Faithful are crossing paths, and as I have a solution. An ancient fusion technology that can replicate any fuel source I grant it to you in exchange for passage. The wanderer hands over a warm metallic canister. Desperate for a solution to your dilemma, you accept the, office, uh, the offer and bring the stranger and his device into the dozer. After briefly researching the object, your technicians realize it's, it is per able to perfectly reproduce the atomic structure of crude required to power the dozer's engines. The fusion canister only has enough power to replace a small amount of crude, but it is sufficient to get the dozer moving again. Yay! Alright, well, let's go and do battle with this guy if we can somehow survive it, which I'm highly doubting. There was a promise of bounty from King Viscera in exchange for murderizing you scuzzers, but Scragger Main is gonna scorch you just for the joy kills. Alright guys, we're probably gonna get wrecked here. We're, well, we're kinda out of luck. We are SOL, as I said earlier. And it's not looking great. But we're throwing everybody we have left in. And hey, if the run ends poorly, it happens, guys. It happens. It's a thing. It's a thing that happens. Because like I said, I made it all the way to the last boss the last time I played. And this time... So, one turn is two actions. Alright, that looks menacing. Really menacing. And he's got 10 health. That is unpleasant. Alright, let's shoot him. Do eight damage to him, and that's what we're gonna start off with. Oh, and you're gonna walk in and just blast our person on the side of the face. It's not great. Um three and three. Ah! I like how it's like, oh Alright, what are you gonna do? You're gonna run on over and crouch? And you're gonna run on over and just stand there like a person. Alright. We're gonna drop you. I don't think it's gonna be super great for us, but we did it. Um so fire on you, you're going down, hunter. Eventually. Not quite yet though. Oh. Well that's intriguing. <laughs> Alright. And a fire and another nope, that's all we got. Okay. Oh dear. There's some seriously dark juju to rumble going on right now. But we're gonna try to hold out until. till the end of it all. 
All right, he's gonna move forward, and he's gonna move forward. Okay. Kind of keep hoping that we're gonna actually accomplish something, but it doesn't ever seem to happen. All right, there we go. We did six damage. He's gonna move on over. Oh, is he gonna smack our guy? Yep. Oh, he's still alive though. He is still alive. He was able to shoot. Is it you? All right, I think we're gonna fall back here. I'm gonna take a, a shot at him. There. there we go. Now, is he gonna run at our guy again? Oh, and he's going down. Darn it. Abe was our like last great hope. So now that he's actually gone, I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. All right, we're gonna go here and wait it out. Oh gosh, the big man's coming. All right, Biggie Smalls is on his way over. It's not good. He's gonna move up and, okay, he moved over. All right, we're gonna knock him back a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't decide to come at us again. Oh, not enough damage, I think he is. Yeah, he's like, you want to shoot me? Die in a fire. It's not great. Oh boy, all right, what's next? Move here, and it looks like we can fire on this guy. Thought we could. Oh, yep, he's dead. That's unpleasant. All right, I guess we'll roll out over here, guys. I think this is where our run is going to end, folks. This is going to be the last shebang, as I say. All right, I guess we move there, and what's next? Oh, he didn't actually kill us. That's interesting. Oh, and we missed. No! No! Oh, that's so bad. But we still have a chance. I'll be at a small, tight. Oh, actually, we... Do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah! Well, that happened. I, I actually don't think we have any chance at all, but... Well, we did that. That's a thing that has happened here. All right, we're gonna have to use our weapon here. It's the only way we're gonna actually survive this. So we're gonna have to use our distillery thing. And what this does is it makes them all freak out. Oh, the sludge still got on him, even though he was outside the range. That's weird. They should be attacking one another at this point. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, and it worked beautifully, I might add. Gonna move back here and Tap him in the back of the head. He's gonna move on, and he got smacked. I can't kill from this angle. If I move there, I can fire. Will he shoot at us? Or oh, he's gonna run over to his compatriot. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're, we're alive still. We're hanging in there. It's definitely not ideal, but we're still alive. All right, oh, he's coming over and, oh, he's right in our face, but he is right in our face and dead. Oh, we got veteran status, yeah, baby. We can still do this, guys, we can win this. Our journey is not over. Over cut of death. All right, it's pretty close to being over. We don't have a means to fight anymore. Scragger Man accepts the savage beating. I know a clutch with the meters when I see him. Tells you what, give me some uh, sweet squishy targets and I'll splatter them all over Bedlam for you. Alright, Scragger Main has joined the Dozer crew. Alright, let's crawl our way further. With two people left in the crew, the Dozer slows and comes to a halt. You disembark to examine the surprising situation up ahead. The road ends in a massive wall constructed from some unknown substance. It is higher than the Dozer itself and stretches to both ends of the horizon. It appears impregnable. Near the side of the road is a tall metallic, metallic statue of a robotic warrior partly tarnished from enduring ages of exposure to the harsh bedlam elements. Suddenly, the statue groans to life and moves towards you. Vigilus Omega Online, all imperfect beings are to be eradicated as per entry protocols or eternity protocols. Assessing threat and processing tactical strategy, support units mobilized, obliteration of inferior forms commencing. We're gonna die. Well, short of some sort of, like, 
amazing miracle. This is it, guys. This is where the run falls. This is where we end our lives. All right, let's take a look at what we're, we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a whole bunch of just bleh. All right, I'm going to roll out to here. Hold on. I'm not going to roll out to anywhere yet. Yeah, I am going to roll. All right, I'm going to roll out to here. I'm going to cap this dude. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, that didn't actually end as badly as I was anticipating. I will do six damage to that guy. Okay. Leveled up. All right, he's going to cap Scragger. And he's going to move on over. Scragger's like, hey, dude, that's not cool, man. What are you doing? Get burned. And down goes the robot. The robot. Oh, this dude's like, I'm taking you down, buddy. You're doing no such thing, and you're lacking it. All right, unfortunately, that's about it for us right now. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to move here. Is he going to run at us? Oh, he's going to shoot at us. That's unpleasant. Well, we took quite a little beating there. It's not pleasant at all, but we should be able to drop this bullet. There it is. I kind of wish there was a better way to heal. Oh, look, you can teleport. Who didn't see that coming? Yeah, it's not great, guys. All right. Down you go, fool. And I'm not sure what's next, folks, but this is not going well. Oh! Because he can attack at range. Because of reasons. Alright, um... I guess we can try the distillery thing again. I highly doubt it will work. But we'll give it a shot. Come over here, we're gonna tap him. See what happens. Oh, it did work, nice. He just got wrecked by his own boys. That is pretty good. Down he goes. This guy may be the one one unit to rule them all. It's actually working out amazingly well. Alright, so that was cool. I'm not sure how long the sky shine's gonna work, but hey, it looks like we're gonna be victorious. The run is not over, guys. The run is not over. We're still alive. Critical systems failure, extinction protocols remain, operational. Alright. We're holding on by a thread still, guys. Sentinel has been subjugated. For this unprecedented accomplishment, the vehicle and its occupants have been calculated to be of acceptable merit and shall be allowed passage. Vigilus Omega will accompany travelers to the intersection. All right. Yay! A seam in the massive wall appears and a section slides aside to allow the vehicle entry. As the portal seals behind the vehicle, the dozer continues along the road into uncharted territory on the quest for the legendary Aztec city. All right, folks, I think since we're so banged up and beaten and just battered and bruised and pretty much nearly dead, I think we're probably going to take the easy victory on this one, guys. There's two different things. When, well, maybe not. Maybe they changed that, too. Let's see. I'm going to go here and see what's up. The dozer continues along the road, traveling for a lengthy period of time without any sign of trouble or of life. Suddenly, the dozer's instruments begin going haywire, detecting mysterious signals ahead. Could this be an indication that you're finally approaching the fabled Aztec city? The passengers begin buzzing with anticipation. The dozers... There are still a few passengers left. The dozer's sensors reach a crescendo, or crescendo, as the vehicle draws close to the source of unknown energy. The dozer travels over a rise and arrives at what is beyond. The vehicle or comes to a halt and you disembark. The road ahead abruptly ends at a vast crater, expanding as far as the eye can see. Its surface seems fused by some kind of powerful otherworldly weapon. Aztec City is gone. Uh oh. Ah! Hello. Shimmering in the air above the crater, a monolithic pyramid appears. The passengers rejoice at the astonishing sight. A small door opens on the surface of the incredible structure. A hovering orb of mystical light approaches, carrying a curiously garbed man. Greetings to you, brave travelers. I am a Telecon, herald to the Tesseract. Tesseractus. It has been many ages since we have seen a mechanic. 
Your perilous journey will be rewarded. Your courageous passengers have been deemed worthy to join us within the glory of Aztec City. Now we must swiftly return to the sanctuary of the fractal carousel or risk permanent flux. But your hardship is not over, mechanic. You must return to your point of origin and offer additional salvation. The other residents of Byzantine and the citizens of Bedlam must be liberated from adversity and the torturous reign of King Viscera. Deliver to this construct of all technology, a vertex bridge that allows instantaneous travel to this location over vast distances, and you will be accompanied by a quartet of Osotrina, our formidable order of guardians. Because you were able to bring so many fortunate travelers to the glory of Aztec City, select from the following items to assist you in your challenging journey. Huh. Um. I don't know what these things do. Um. I chose the abuse absorber last time. I don't think I like that one. Uh. Instant doppelganger. Relative. Relativity eraser. Well, let's try the instant doppelganger. Has been installed, okay. You will undoubtedly require additional offensive capability to overcome the threats you shall face. Select the following. I like the nuker, guys. I'm going with it again. The nuker. We have a nuclear missile. Nuclear launch detected. And the Osotrina Quartet has joined the Dozer crew. There we go, guys. They are a colorful quadruple grouping of people. The Aztecan Vertex Bridge has been added to our cargo. Now you must make the harrowing journey back through the chaotic dominion and bring more of your people to the sublime society of Aztec City. Good journey to you, mechanic. The telekhala gestures and your passengers are surrounded in floating orbs of energy that rise and delivers them to the massive pyramid. You hear their cries of elation as they are drawn into the mythical perfection of Aztec City. Moments later, a phosphorescent glow fills the air and the monolithic structure blinks out of existence. You and the remaining crew return to the dozer and begin the difficult journey back through Bedlam on your new heroic mission to Byzantine. Get wrecked. Alright, so there we go, guys. A little bit more crude, a little bit more food. Well, I guess we're still in it. There is no easy win this time, guys. Oh my. Why is Bedlam glowing bright orange? That is unpleasant. Alright, I guess we're going to go try this way. Alright. Alright. We're on our way. The dozer arrives at the massive wall, and a section once again opens to allow passage for the vehicle. Alright, you leave behind the passengers who will begin life anew in Aztec City and head back into Bedlam on a course for Byzantine. Somewhere in the brutal and chaotic wasteland, King Viscera and his forces wait. Yeah, not great. Not great. Alright, we're gonna head on this way. Alright. It appears to be an ancient fueling station. Let's uh, stop and investigate. Uh, the fuel station has been scavenged long ago, the building is empty of anything valuable, and the underground tank has been drained of crude. Well, isn't that wonderful? They didn't give us many, um, resources for our journey back, I got to say. Alright, here we go. The hiss of eroding metal can be heard. Even such a brief exposure to the toxic material can prove harmful for the dozer's reinforced hide. Oh, through a shallow slag pool. Nice. Only mutants could not only survive, but thrive near such noxious hazards. Alright, we're about out of fuel. SOL. Are we gonna actually... I've never succeeded at that. I don't know if that's a thing that happens or what. Alright, we shut her to a stop, and we're completely out of fuel. Hey, it's the Alchemist! Yay! We can accept, um... Desperate measures, I conceal myself and my subjects in the rear chamber. Result shall be forthcoming. Pay no attention to the clamor. The rear, the dozer, the alchemist prefers, uh, performs his esoteric process, creating a variety of unsettling noises. Here's some resentment from the remaining passengers, but they fall silent once the dozer begins moving again. Alright, well, we lost 150 passengers that we didn't have! It's pretty good. Alright, continue along. Maybe we can avoid King Viscera. Alright, you see a huge menacing vehicle blocking the path ahead. I think this is King Viscera, guys. The dozer comes to a halt and you disembark to investigate. From the scowling helmet and fearsome armor, you know that this is the merciless, self-proclaimed proclaimed overlord of Bedlam. Ah, the evasive mechanic finally stands before the mighty King Viscera. You should consider it an honor to merely be in my presence. Before I spill your entrails and adorn my armor with the puny skulls of your crew... The power and technology at my disposal are beyond your comprehension. My influence is immeasurable, and soon I shall be ruling the wasteland in your machine. Uh-huh. 
Prepare to be overwhelmed by the unimaginable dominance of King Viscera. Well, the good news, if you want to call it that, is we actually have uh, some veteran units to utilize now, which is good because we need them desperately. All right, let's go. Left click on a combatant's feet to select. All right, and here we are. He's got a laser saber sword of death and destruction. Not the most pleasant thing in the world, to be sure. Huh. All right, we're going to move in on him and cut the chop. And we just done got sniped once and twice, and down you go. Not super surprising. Karate chop number two. And do we have karate chop number three? No? No, nope, that's all you got, huh? Well. I suppose you can come stand on top of the guy if you really want to. Move forward, is he gonna sniper or sniper? Of course he is! Why wouldn't he? That just makes way too much sense. Ugh. I tell you guys. Geiger is going to be like, what's up? He's going to roll out on this guy. Bad Juju Magumbo is going to happen. Actually, not as bad Juju Magumbo as I was anticipating. Alright, that's... Okay, okay. He's going to move out, and he's going to... He's not going to shoot us. Huh. Right, huh? Okay. Level up. Geiger is the boss man right now. He's just doing work. Over here. What the heck does this do? Let's see here. Selected crew can create and use a battlefield duplicate. That seems pretty useful. It lasts three turns. Alright, we'll, we'll save that until we're closer to having to do battle with our fine feathered friend here. Boom. He didn't get knocked back. Which is good because we just got to murder his face, so that worked out pretty decently for us. Yeah, we're not trading blows like that. Sorry, buddy. Can't shoot? Oh, we can't shoot from there. That's true. Wow, these guys stand their ground when they get shot by um, shotguns. That's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. can't shoot him, huh? Alright, so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna move here. Actually, we may move... Oh, you're so far away. Why are you so far away? Oh, gosh. He did not at all hit the person I thought he was going to. Oh, that did so much damage. It's ridiculous. Please tell me you can shoot... Come on, guys. Get shot. Oh, this is gonna end very badly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is not gonna end as badly as I thought it would end. He is actually really ridiculously strong right now. This is not going well for us. Alright, um... I guess we can try this? That did way more damage to that guy than I was anticipating. Well, I suppose we can handle that. Um, is he going to be able to fight back? I don't think so. Oh, he's going after his compatriot. He's like... Rawr! He is just not happy about that guy at all. Alright, we're going to try to do a little karate chopping. So. Laser sword, go! Hopefully he doesn't... Oh, he's going to go after his other compatriot. That's pretty cool. Oh! And do it again, do it again, do it again. Ah, yeah. Get some of that viscera action. Is he gonna kill him? Oh, he is. Alright, wonder what he's gonna do now, though. He doesn't have any more compatriots to shoot. Is he gonna turn and chop us up? Oh, yeah, he is. He is super unhappy about us doing that. Alright. There's a shot, and is he still alive? He is. We're gonna have to back up. He's going to have to close with us. 
Hey, we have to hope our boy has enough. No, he doesn't. He's not strong enough. No. All right. Well, I guess we can finish him with this guy. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the end of the game, guys. There's, there's no way to finish with this group. I'm so sorry. There it is, guys. Game over. 51 minutes, 10 battles, 73 kills, 30 crew lost, 12 promotions gained. I'm not sure why the game was over there, though, to be 100% honest. Um, maybe they just realized that there was no way to win with only one guy remaining. I'm not sure. But, seven locations visited, crude used, meat eaten, power cells used, passengers lost. There you go. We were a veteran mechanic. King Viscera is pleased to hear of your demise mechanic. Eh, again, I'm not sure exactly why it went to the end game screen there, but we did manage to defeat him before... Eh, I guess that was pretty much going to be it anyway. Well, there you have it, guys and gals. That is my first official run of Skyshine's Bedlam. I had a lot of fun with it. Hopefully you guys did as well. And there will be future runs, guys. I might give it a week. I might do this like every other week because it's only like a three to five episode thing. I don't mind doing that. I might stream this on and off as well. We'll see. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for now. I will catch you guys next time with the next run of Skyshine's Bedlam. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>